All right. And we know what the goodies are in the rubric. We know what the criteria is. We don't want any sentences starting this with the same word over and over. It's redundant and boring. Vary your structures. You need to use four of the ones we've learned. Bold your best fireball word choices. Highlight the figurative language you've used. Use action verbs. And really show versus tell. What does it look like, sound like, feel like to be in your place? You have these student help slides with you. So these are eight of the different structures. Open with a double adjective, dark and mysterious, comma, blah, blah, blah. Participial phrase like inching toward the cemetery, comma, I, or shivering everything in its past, path, comma, the wind. Join two sentences with a comma and a conjunction. And works, but works, okay? Whatever um, is the conjunction you want to use. And then use a, a, use a complex sentence in your piece, as I, when I, after. Be positive. Think of something important, like the leaves or an aspect of the setting, the shadows. The leaves, lifeless wrappers, litter the ground. So come up with a little noun phrase for what those leaves are. The wind, a torrent of darkness, flooded the whatever. Adverbs, just your L-Y words, violently, eerily, creepily. Prepositional phrase, under the moonlight, near the path, um, next to the tree. And then an interjection, like, no, ah, okay. So you have these, you can use, these are models, create four of your own. And then um, today you can just share your piece digitally, okay? So you just click that share button and um, share it with, with a buddy in class, just send it to them. And then as you're reading somebody's, give some authentic peer feedback. So what is especially effective? Name that technique like, wow, this personification is excellent. I really, I hear the wind whining or crying. Or I love how you describe the darkness and you never used the word black. It was, you did it with shadows and other adjectives. Fantastic. And then give them a comment. What they, should they consider adding to make this piece even richer? Best way to make comments, if you click Alt, Control, M, um, a comment box will pop up and you can give some peer feedback. So that'll close our hour. Tomorrow, your Wednesday work at home day will just be this. You're going to have these this checklist and you're going to go through it to make sure that your piece is great and you'll have more time to write. It'll be due tomorrow at 11.59, so you have the next two days. Thank you, and we really look forward to your mood writing.